Today we're going to be talking about how to solve a separable differential equations initial value problem. And in this particular problem, we've been given the differential equation du over dt is equal to the quantity 2t plus secant squared of t all divided by 2u. And we've been given the initial condition u of 0 is equal to negative 5. Now this particular type of differential equation is called a separable differential equation because we're able to separate the variables putting one variable on one side of the equal sign and the other variable on the other side. That's not always the case. Sometimes no matter what you do, if there's a term that involves both variables, you can't separate the variables onto either side of the equal sign, but in this case we can. And whenever we can separate the variables, we want to go ahead and do so. It makes it a lot easier for us to deal with the equation. So that's what we'll do. The way that we'll do it is by first multiplying both sides by dt. When we multiply both sides by dt, we get du equals 2t plus secant squared of t over 2u times dt. Now, if we multiply both sides by 2u, we'll get 2u du is equal to 2t plus secant squared of t dt. And what you notice now is that we have all of our terms involving u on the left-hand side of the equal sign and all of our terms involving t on the right-hand side of the equal sign. That means that we've separated the variables and essentially proven that this is a separable differential equation. Now, in order to solve the separable differential equation, we want to integrate both sides and then down the line we'll use this initial condition. So once we've separated things, we'll integrate both sides. So we're basically going to draw an integral on both sides of the equation like this. And now we can take the integral. So the integral of 2u is just u squared. We want to go ahead and add a constant of integration. We'll call it c sub 1. Then over on the left hand side here, we'll integrate term by term. The integral of 2t is t squared, and the integral of secant squared t by the formula is tangent of t. Remember that the derivative of tangent is secant squared, so the integral of secant squared is tangent. Then we can go ahead and add a constant of integration on this side. And it's important to note here that the way I've added the constant of integration on both sides is the technically correct way to add the constant of integration. You want to add it to both sides, but essentially what's going to happen here is I'm going to subtract c sub 1 from both sides, and I'm going to get u squared equals t squared plus tangent of t plus now here c sub 2 minus c sub 1. And now c sub 2 minus c sub 1 just represents a single constant. I don't have to keep them separate from one another. Really, I'm just looking to solve for one constant using the initial condition that I've been given u of 0 equals negative 5. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to replace this c sub 2 minus c sub 1 with just a single c. That's all that I need. So now I have u squared equals t squared plus tangent of t plus just a single c, a single constant of integration. And for that reason, sometimes, just for shorthand, people don't add the c sub 1 on the left-hand side. They just go ahead and add the constant of integration on the right-hand side only because you're going to end up consolidating them anyway. Now in order to solve for c, I'm going to go ahead and use my initial condition. I can just plug both these values into the equation as is. So I'm going to be plugging in 0 for t and negative 5 for u. So I'll plug in negative 5 for u and I'll plug in 0 for t. And what that's going to leave me with is 25 on the left hand side. And then over here on the right hand side, obviously this 0 squared will cancel. Tangent of 0 is 0. Remember that tangent is sine over cosine, so sine of 0 is 0, and that'll make that fraction 0, so tangent of 0 is just 0. So I'll get 0 plus c, or just c over here on the right side. So I see that c is equal to 25. Now I'm just going to go ahead and plug that back into my equation, replacing this c here with 25. It's always best, if you can, to solve here directly for u. We don't want to leave this as u squared. So we'll take the square root of both sides, and we'll say that u is equal to positive or negative square root of t squared plus tangent of t plus 25, which is the value that we got when we solved for c. Now, normally you would just leave your answer like this. Remember that we add the positive or negative whenever we take the square root to indicate that once we take the square root here, our answer could be positive or negative because that would still satisfy the u squared that we had down here. 
Now, this problem is a little special because what we need to notice is that if we were to plug in our initial condition again, if we plugged in the value 0 for t, under the square root sign here, we'd get 0 plus 0 plus 25. We'd get 25. Square root of 25 is going to be 5, obviously. So then we have u equals positive or negative 5 when we plug in 0 for t. But our initial condition has already told us specifically that when we do plug in 0, we want to get negative 5 back. So in fact, we don't need to include the positive or negative here. We already know that it's negative that we're interested in. So what we're going to say is that our final answer is u equals negative square root of t squared plus tangent of t plus 25. This is the only equation that truly satisfies the initial condition that we were given in the original problem. So that's it. That's how you solve a separable differential equations initial value problem. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.